cross-references and engineering tools can be a huge benefit for any automation engineer because they can quickly and efficiently figure out how and where they're using their variables. Let me show an example of this. As you can see, here's my current HMI here, and here's the data field in question. All I need to do is actually double click on it. At this point, the property windows for that data field actually is open, and now we can see the actual tag that we're using. If I want to learn more about this, there's a little green arrow right here. If I click on this arrow, at this point, the central tag database pulls up, and we can see exactly where our tag is in the overall structure of our tag database. Well, if I want to learn even more about this tag and this variable, I click on this info tab. At this point, click on the cross-reference. Now he's actually going to show us where we're using it in the tag database, where we're actually using it in the code, as well as the HMI screen. Well, if I want to find out more about this code, all I need to do is hit the split screen right here. Now I come over here and actually click on the actual block that we're using it in, and you're going to see it scrolls through the entire code and finds the exact block and where this variable is. Well, if I want to change this, if I want to do a universal change, all I need to do is come back to the tag in the tag database, give focus to it, and change the name, let's say, um, underscore two. Click on enter, and you'll see it automatically changes it even in the code. It'll do this for the entire automation architecture, and all I had to do was change it in one spot. Now that's engineering efficiency.